Hello guys, welcome back to Patron and Mujer. Today, I'll be sharing with you a tutorial on how to make the garment you see in the picture. We'll take pen and paper to write down the materials. We'll find the pattern description in the magazine Children's Pattern number 14. Once we have the pattern tracing from the magazine, we've cut all of the side lines that we'll make. These are finished patterns, which means they have 1 cm seams, hems, and cut with notches and grain lines. Firstly, look at the pattern line and place all the pattern according to the line and how to use the fabric. In this case, on the main fabric, we are going to cut parallel to the selvage of the fabric. So, grab your parted pieces and prepare to cut them out. Ok, this is the back. We place the pattern on top of the fabric and we cut two pieces in mirror. This is the front and we cut two pieces in mirror. the front pocket we have a full edge and we cut one piece and the next one is the back facing and also we have a full edge and we cut one piece the back pocket we place the pattern on top insert the pins around and we cut two pieces in mirror this is the front pocket and we cut two pieces in mirror. This is the bias and we cut two pieces in mirror. This is the strap and we cut two pieces in mirror. Remember, before taking off the fabric, please look at the cake pattern markings, the lines you find in the pattern, the notches and snip them. These are the backs. If you see, we overlock the sides the, and the center back. These are the pockets and we press with the iron the centimeter inside and the hems. These are the bias. Also, we press in half. This is the facing pieces and we overlock the bottom part and the straps. And this is the front. We overlock the curve the sides and the inner length and the elastic the front piece and we place the pattern and with the help of the pattern we make the marks where is going the front pocket Place the pockets on top and pin it on the corners. Mm -hmm. 
and then we're going to close on the center front for the backs also with the help of the putter make a mark for place the back pockets place the pockets and pin it then face the right of the fabric of the bag and we're going to close on the center back This is the front pocket. We pass a stitch on the mouth of the pocket and the other one. We place the pocket on top and we pass a stitch around of the pocket. Place the right of the front and start sewing from the top to the curve but you have to leave a space without sewing because we need this for match the cross length. This is the back pocket. We pass a stitch on the hem of the pocket and then we place on top of the back piece and we pass a stitch around of the pocket on the edge face the right of the back and we start sewing from the top and continue all along on the curve but you have to leave a space without sewing at the end this is the front and the back and we match the sides and pin it on the side and there we continue with the inner length and continue with the other length and the other side Then we are going to close the crotch length. Start the straps. So close one side and along of the piece. You have to leave uh, one side open because we need to turn out the piece for that gap. This is the front and the back. We face the right of the fabric and we start sewing from the top to the bottom. This is the inner length and we start sewing from the top to the bottom. This is the other side, face the right of the fabric and sewing from the top to the bottom. the other inner length so we, f we match and we start sewing from the top to the bottom 
and finish closing the crotch length. The strap we close for one side and continue along of the piece. You have to face the right of the piece. Then we cut the excess of the fabric along of the piece and the corners and now turn out the piece. Then press with the air. We pass a stitch along of the piece and the sides. This is the back. We place the straps on the edge and we pin it. and place on top the facing piece so face the right of the pieces and continue on the front we face the right and we pin it on the top and the sides Then we are going to place the bias around of the handpole. On the other side And then we're going to place the elastic. We continue with the hem. We are going to make the hem. This is the back and we place the straps on the edge and we pass a stitch on it. It's the right of the fabric of the back and the facing piece and we sew them all around. Place the facing piece of the front, we face the right side of the fabric and we continue sewing all around. This is the bias, we place the bias on the edge of the armhole and we sew them all around. We place the bias on the other side of the armhole we sew them of the bias all around. Cut the excess of the fabric around the handful. Cut 
cut the corners and continue all around. Turn on the piece and with the help of the scissor pull the corners and then press with the air. Snip the curves. Fold the bias and we pass a stitch all along of the bias. Now we make the other side of the hand hole. We fold in half and we pass a stitch along of the piece. We take the elastic and we place the elastic on the edge of the bias and we pass a stitch on it and the other side. Fold again the bias and pass a stitch along of the bias and we finish our bias and continue pa uh, passing a stitch or around of the edge of the front and the back. Continue, this is the other side and we continue like that. This is the hem, we fold until the notch, we overlock the cuff, the edge of the hem and we fold and pass a stitch all around of the hem. Then we press with the air. And this is how our finished Dungari looks, we place a uh, the buckle on front and the buttons if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more tutorials and remember the account is at patronemujer and as always thank you guys for watching the video